And in exactly the same way that your head and your feet are related together, so you go with. I want to get this word into the English language. Go with. Instead of cause and effect, instead of that mechanical understanding of the world, which was Descartes and Newton, they thought of uh, the world as billiards. You know, you you hit a ball and it goes, <coughs> and it hits that ball like that. You see, and they thought of cause and effect. You don't need to use that concept at all. Go with, just as a front goes with a back, just as a top goes with the bottom, just as up goes with down. They're inseparable. So in exactly that way, you go with everything that you call the external world. And therefore, you have to treat the external world as if it were as much you as your own foot or your own head. It's part of you. It is you. There's no way of separating them. Therefore, you have to be very kind and reverent and respectful to the mountains, to the forests, and so on, to the water, to the fish. You, for example, live on fish, just as birds live on worms. And if you kill any creature in order to live, you have a duty towards it. That is to say, you must not exterminate the species on which you live. People have, uh, the, for example, in the whaling industry, they have practically exterminated whales. And it's becoming <coughs> a very serious situation. Because you must farm, cultivate every species on which you feed. If all worms were to be eaten by the birds. The birds would have no further sustenance. From the worm's point of view, if all birds were to vanish, the worms would overpopulate themselves and starve themselves. So the worms depend on the birds just as much as the birds depend on the worms. So we all depend on the whole interaction of the system of biology. It's a mutual eating society. You, you may say that's too bad, you know, that life has to involve this crunching and crushing and annihilation <coughs> of other creatures, but that's the way it is. And therefore, if that's the way it is, the way to, to do it properly is, number one, to farm instead of merely destroy. Be assured that the species you feed on is maintained, that it goes on. Farm the whales, don't just hunt them. That's the first principle. The second principle is, whenever you destroy a living body for your own maintenance, give it the honor of cooking it as beautifully as possible. A fish that has died for you and is not well cooked has died in vain. I'm quoting Lin Yutang. So this is the situation in which we find ourselves. Life is a system in which organisms, by mutual eating, transform fish into people, grass into people, lettuce into people, cows into people. What about people? What are they transformed into? We are proud, too proud, and we try to resist our transformation into some other forms of life. And therefore, we have a wretched profession of morticians, otherwise known as undertakers, who try to embalm us and preserve us and put us in concrete and bury us instead of letting us simply join the biological rhythm. Actually, what should happen when a person is dead is that they should be buried three feet underground with no casket, nothing, just naked in the earth. 
and that field should be allowed to lie fallow for some years. And then it would be beautifully fertilized by human bodies and crops would grow out of it. They always say that the best wheat is grown on old battlefields. But you see, we resist that. And the morticians will put an ad in with some girl who's lost her husband looking out of the window on a rainy day. And they say, trust us, he's not rotting really, you know. We've got that concrete thing, we've got that extra special covering, that uh, super embalming, and the corpse is still there. Baby, don't worry. <laughs> you know, how mad can you get? How insane, how ridiculous. The root of this kind of disturbance of feeling that you are separate inside your skin and not simply all one process with everything that's going on around you. The root of this is a failure of communication. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more daily videos.